Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the pretty substantial Strix nerf on the PTS. Basically what happened to him is he got a fire rate nerf. So usually when you fire your sniper rifle, you shoot, then you have to wait one second before you can shoot again and you know scope in and keep shooting people and basically allowed Strix to get some pretty nice quick scopes, you know, pretty good damage potential and that's been changed. So he now has a fire rate of 1.25 seconds on his sniper rifle, which may not sound like that big of a deal, but in actual practice in game it's a very very huge deal. Basically, when you're firing down on tanks, you know, you're going to be reversing them down slower, and when you, someone comes around to flank you, you pretty much have to shoot them and then you're almost forced to switch your pistol because your sniper rifle is now so slow. So it really makes Strix a lot more flankable and it also nerfs his DPS output quite substantially. And this is honestly a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty pretty big deal. I'd say now Kinesa is just far far better than Strix because she can charge up shots, you know, she can hit half sh charge shots, but her normal charge shots take 1. 0.3 seconds. So Strix and Kinesa almost have the same fire right now, but Kinesa has two different talents that buff her damage on her sniper rifle. You know, Steady Aim gives her 1500 damage body shots, Eagle Eye gives her 2100 damage headshots, so, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's not looking too good for Strix, and, and Kinesa also has Mind Switch do damage and sort of act as a personal reveal for her, and her carbine mode is better, and she has movement. I mean, it's just, it's not good for Strix, this next patch. I really don't like the nerf. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay and see it for ourselves. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab Mr. Strix. Strix got such a crazy nerf. He got a fire rate nerf on his sniper rifle, so usually after you shoot someone with your sniper rifle, there's a delay of one second before you can shoot again, you know, scope in, shoot, and then, you know, go back to killing. They pretty much added a quarter of a second to that, so they, like, they pretty much nerfed it by 25% or something like that? I don't know, I don't know maths, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty severe nerf. So, I played with this once already, and I did not like it at all, because I already kind of suck at quick scoping with Strix, and now it's just going to be even harder, because you have to wait even longer before you can scope in. And I'm used to the timing, too, so now I'm just thrown off by the timing as well, because Strix has literally always had the same fire rate, so it's really... I don't know, it just feels... it feels bad to me. Uh, we're going to give it another try, though, and hopefully... We'll be able to do somewhat decent, because I'm not the worst sniper in the world. Of course, I am better with Kinesa, and I have more fun with her. Ah, this fire rate nerf, though, is going to affect everything. Like, it's going to affect how easy he is to flank. He's going to be much harder to flank, because, you know, the flank will have just a quarter of a second longer to be able to shoot him, get extra shots off on him, and kill him. And on tanks, he's not going to be able to kill them as quickly. Like, he's going to have lower DPS on them, too. I'm pretty sure with the fire rate nerf, he might have less than a thousand DPS now in a sniper rifle. So that's bad. And then his pistol, of course. His pistol has always had pretty poo-poo DPS for like the past year or so. So, yeah, Strix. I mean, eh, if you had any doubts about him being a worse sniper than Kinesa this patch, I mean, he's definitely far inferior to Kinesa now, in my opinion. So I guess let's grab... Oh, do I want to go usual nocturnal build or do I want to go crack shot? Um, I feel like the random headshots are going to be helpful, so let's grab Nocturnal. There we go, and yeah, check out this fire rate. So we shoot. Look at how slow! It's like, it's like he's sluggish. It's like he had, like, four pints of beer, and is, like, reloading just lackadaisically now. It's, like, what? That, that's so slow. Oh my goodness. Feels whack. It feels really bad. You're gonna have to have pinpoint accurate aim with tricks now. If you don't have pinpoint accurate aim, uh, you you're probably not gonna be doing that good. Because if you miss one shot with tricks on a flanker or something, you're you're dead. And there's even less of an opportunity now for you to you know save yourself. You know if you miss a shot. So really really awkward. All right, let's see. Is Kness up there? Um, oh, Kness might be down there. Okay, let me just go invis and snipe. And oh my goodness, it takes forever to scope back in. Um, oh, she's low. Okay. Um, I guess we have Luminary buff. The one thing they didn't change is his damage per shot, which is good. Um, there we go. Snipe you. Oh! Oh, it took forever to scope back in on that Koga. Last patch, I would have been able to snipe him already, but... Oh, jeez. That feels so bad. <laughs> okay, thankfully I have teammates who are good, so Koga's dead. We have a Kness on our team, so... That's really, really good for us. Oh, I missed. Yeah, if you miss a shot. Oh, it's just so much more punishing now. Okay, well, yeah, Kinesa, doing good. You know, Kinesa, she has, I think, pretty much the same fire rate as Strix now, but she can do half shots, of course. 
And she also has two talents which buff her damage on her sniper rounds. So she can get 2100 damage headshots with two different talents, and she can get 1500 damage body shots with setting aim. So, like, ah, she's just so much better. Strix, I just, I don't like this change. I really don't. I feel like Knesset was more deserving of a nerf. Like, nerf steady aim or something. Don't nerf Strix. Alright, there's a shot on Imani. Okay, we managed to kill her. That's good. Um, Koga, there's a shot. Thank you for the heal con. I appreciate it. Looking out for me. Ooh, there's a con up there. I tried to aim it like his little horns, but I guess that wasn't part of his hitbox. Ah! Ooh, we had a shield. Okay. Yeah, I guess Knesset's got the top floor. I got the bottom floor. Ooh, she doesn't even need my help getting the Saras. Okay. Ah, uh, Knesset's just crazy. Yeah, you know, she also has an ult which buffs her snipers, too. So she's literally just insane now. Alright, there we go. Snipe you. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, Imani. Jeez, I'm just chilling over there sniping, and then I take an Inferno Cane into my back. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Let's see. Well, Arcanessa killed Arcanessa. Yeah, Arcanessa's just fragging. She's doing so much better than I am right now. Like, yeah, Asterix still hurts with each of his shots, but it takes forever to scope now. This is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Is someone up top? I think someone's up top. Let me throw a reveal up there. I might be able to see. Ooh, hello. Um, alright, flash out. Oh, I missed. He's probably gonna have an ult for me, and I can't scope back in. I can't, like, quick scope now. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time to snipe him. He's still over here. You know what? We're going in. We're going in. I wanna try this. Come here. Come here, Koga. I wanna try and snipe you. Ha! Ah! And then, pistol, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, success, question mark? Okay, there we go. Took literally an entire mag because he has, you know, inaccuracy on his, pi on his pistols and stuff. That Saras probably would have died with the previous fire rate. Oh, there she is. Hello. Um, oh, there she is. Hello. Oh, I missed. You! Okay. Well, uh, at least we pushed it, though. Can I kill her? Oh, the pistol DPS is so bad. Ugh. Like, both of his stances now, I just feel like they suck. Like, you can probably, like, a good enough Strix player will obviously still be able to do fine. But for the average Strix player, for me, if I just want to, you know, pick up Strix, try him out in a round, he just feels horrible for me now. Like, not, I don't play Strix that often. When I do, I, you know, I just, you know, I feel like having some fun, you know, scoping in, being fast, feeling good about my quick shots, but now I just, it feels so sluggish. It doesn't feel fun to play anymore. Like, I'd rather just play Kinesa now. I, I literally just rather play Kinesa. <laughs> like, there have been days in the past where, you know, I'd be like, ah, I kind of feel like playing Strix instead of Kinesa. But now, no, I do not feel like playing Strix at all with this change. Like, if I'm going to play a sniper, the only sniper I'm going to play from now on is Kinesa, because this feels horrible. Ah, <laughs> oh, I mean, I hate to sound like a broken record, but, like, it does. Okay, well, um, you've been... Ooh! I've been, I've been sniped in the face. That's a dragon coming out. Where's the dragon? Oh, the dragon's just dead. All right, Geno's got that. Taken care of. Nice job. Where's Koga? There's Koga. Hey, Koga. I missed. Uh, hold on. I'll snipe you in a few seconds. Oh, crap. Um, okay, there we go. Finally hit him. Yeah, if you don't have good aim with Strix, you're going to suffer with him even more this patch. Koga. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, Kinesa's just going to finish him off, you know? Those half-charged shots with Kinesa, they're just, you know... They're what make her slightly higher than Strix, or slightly lower than Strix's fire rate. Reasonable. Like her, or wait, this lower or higher the right time? I don't know. Basically, I think she takes like 1.3 seconds to charge a full charge shot, so it's still technically slower than Strix, but she has the half shots, and her regular shots do more damage if you go steady. So it's worth it. <laughs> but, uh, Strix? Ah, uh, mm, nah, uh, that's just my opinion. Okay, hey Koga. Koga! Uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave him alone. I'll fire it con or something. I could have, last patch, I could have actually scoped in on him and shot him, you know, with, uh, when he was still in the general script, but, yep, yeah, not anymore, not anymore, he's just a slug, he's a slug, hi con, I'm a slug, look at me, uh, let me see if I can throw a reveal up there, your mind's taken care of, he's revealed, um, unfortunately Androxus did, but I think, I think Kness is just gonna be able to go in on him and hopefully kill him, come on, Kness, I believe in you. You're super bolt. You can do it. Here, I'll help. Ooh. Um, okay, there's a snipe on Imani. There we go. We can help finish her off. Snipe the Koga. Oh, hello. Uh, I missed a quick scope. Are you going to ult me? Are you going to ult me? No, you're not. Okay. I thought he might have been able to ult me. If he ulted me there, he would have definitely been able to kill me. He might not have had it, though. I don't really know. Ooh, Kinesa's in there. Hey, Kinesa, come here. 
Hey, another thing you can do with Knesset that you can't do with Strix, you can bunny hop with Knesset. Strix just has fewer, less mobility than Knesset now, too. Like, well, not now. He's never had the same mobility as Knesset. But he has this Poo Poo Fire Rate, which is almost the same as Knesset's. He has no way to buff his damage on his sniper shots other than Luminary. And he has no mobility. <laughs> and he, he gets countered by Illuminate, you know, with his, uh, with his invisibility. So, like, I just don't see a world in which you pick... Strix over Knessa now. Unless you're in ranked and you need Strix to counter Knessa. So, yeah. Alright, well we won. I'm pretty sure because of our Knessa. Definitely not because of me. I mean, I think we still did okay-ish, but I, it just... Mm, nah. Yeah, we only got 6 kills, 38,000 damage. Our Knessa was definitely the one carrying there. I still sort of carried my own weight in terms of damage, but yeah, she was the real one killing things there. It just doesn't feel fun to play. Not not to me, anyways. I mean, you might have a different opinion on it. You might think, oh, it's still fine. If you're a if you're a Strix main, you might still be able to pull him off and do good. Like, it's still probably possible to do good with him, but as far as the fun factor is concerned, Strix is no longer fun for me. That's just my two cents on the matter. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also, make sure to join the Discord server, link in the description, to pick up tips, lead suggestions, and become a part of our active community. Also, huge, huge shout-out to the members of this channel for helping to make everything possible. I really, really appreciate all your support. And if you want to become a member today, then just click the join button right next to the subscribe button. Anyways, I will see you all next time. Peace out.